Hi, this is John from Celestian and today I'm going to be talking to you about changing the diaphragm kit in a compression driver. This is a Celestian CDX1 1745. It's a one inch exit, 1.75 inch diameter voice coil, ferrite magnet, high frequency device. It's the kind of thing you find in a two way or a three way box that you'd use in a small to medium sized gig. The kind of box that gets thrown around, goes on tour with you, gets a whole bunch of power pumped through it. Occasionally, just occasionally, they break down and you're gonna to need to fix it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. First of all, let's take a look at the repair kit. This is a T5510 diaphragm repair kit. This is what you need to replace the diaphragm in a CDX1 1745, 1746, 1730 or 1731 compression driver. It comes in a nifty little plastic carrying case like this. So let's open it up and take a quick look. I'll open up the lid. Here's a little foam protector. Don't need that anymore. And there's the diaphragm itself. Let's take a little look. Now when taking it out of the carrying case, be careful, um, just lift it up by the, uh, by the terminal points, it's probably the best way. Um, what you don't want to do is apply any pressure here to the voice coil or here to the diaphragm, because that might cause damage. So just be, just be uh, safety conscious when you do that. Um, if we take a closer look, we can see that this is the 1.75 inch or 44 millimeter voice coil. Uh, it's copper clad aluminium. Um, here's the PETP diaphragm. And these little raised points here are Celestian's patented sound castles. Now these uh, aid in the clamping of the unit when they are placed inside the compression driver and also they um, enable uh, a better acoustic performance. Okay, so we've got the compression driver, we've got the diaphragm repair kit, we've got our tools, we've got everything we need to replace the diaphragm. Remember when you're working on the compression driver it's a powerful magnet in there so if you're wearing a watch you might want to take it off. Now as you can see first of all we're going to have to remove the lid of the compression driver and that's held down with these four hexagonal headed screws. What you need uh, is a hexagonal screwdriver or allen key kind of like this one and all we do is simply remove the lid. Let's have a go. Take out the screws and keep them somewhere safe. Of course, you'll need those later. We've removed the screws, so now it's just a case of taking off the lid. There, and off it comes. Place it to one side. Here we can see the magnet assembly and here's the diaphragm that you're going to be replacing. So if we just tease that out of there with the terminal between our finger and thumb, out it comes. Put that to one side. You don't need it anymore. Here we can see the phase plug. That's the part that guides the acoustic signal from the diaphragm to the compression driver exit. And around the outside of the phase plug is what we call the magnet gap. It's the voice coil itself that fits down into here. We want to make sure when we're fitting the new, com the new um, diaphragm, that we don't get any little bits of particles down here because that would impede the movement of the voice coil. So we have our new diaphragm. All we have to do now, slot that down into the magnet gap, orient it so that the terminals are right next to the fixing holes. Bring it a little closer, you can see that. And we're ready to put the top back on and screw it down.
Simple as that.